Hello everyone, welcome to part 8 of this video series Citrix NF 6.5 and in part 7 we published few applications uh, those were hosted applications and in this video we're gonna go uh, a little bit more in depth in hosted application let's get started so what we did earlier we we published calculator we published wordpad so one thing to uh, remember here is that these uh, application that we published, they are already part of Windows. We never install them. These application automatically comes with Windows. Uh, now, the second level of uh, uh, hosted application is that you are given an application that you must install in Citrix. Uh, you must install and then publish it. So we're going to go through those applications now. So let's uh, download some applications. Uh, uh, we can download it from the host machine, or, or maybe we can download it. Uh, you can, if you have internet on your server. Mostly, we don't have internet on the ser on server. So here, what I'm going to do is download, let's say, FileZilla. So let's say FileZilla is the application that you need to download you need to install in your, you need to publish for your client. So we're going to download this FileZilla. You can download a, a client version uh, to, to, to download. At the same time, we can download 7-zip. We can download VLC player, whatever application we need to provide for our uh, environment so this is being downloaded I'm going to download 7-zip as well at the same time uh, so basically we're downloading two applications here so this is downloaded it is being downloaded in a few moments so both are downloaded and I'm going to go to show in folder and I'm going to copy this copy and bring it to the desktop uh, what we're going to do is we're going to bring this to so this is my Citrix NF server where we're going to install and publish it so here on C drive let me create a folder called software so that we can properly keep them so here let's paste so I just copied it from my host machine. If you're not able to copy paste, what you can do is you can always go to settings, you can go here, you can go to options, you can go to shared folders, and from here you can go to add, browse, and from here you can uh, connect to your downloads. So downloads are basically inside users your profile and under this you can go to whoever user is logged into your host machine and you can go to download so you downloaded it so this is connected and all you need to do is from this machine you can go to network and you can go to vmware host shared folder download and here you can find all your downloads here so, so that is both ways. But if you have VMware tools, then you can, uh, you can definitely just copy this. So one, we did this, and second one, I'm gonna need seven zip. So show in folder, copy. So we're gonna publish these two applications. So again, I'm gonna go into my C drive, go into software. I'm gonna put it in my. Uh, sources folder so these are my sources now in order to publish this application uh, in Xena we need to place Xena server in in, uh, in install mode and then install the application and then we need to put the Xena server in execute mode so basically the process is very simple process is you need to download the application uh, Secondly, bring to then uh, a server. Third, uh, place the then a server in install mode. And this can be done by this command. We can go into CMD. 
we can go into CMD and then we can run the command change user slash install and this places the Venus server in install mode after that we install the application and once this is done then we'll go back to CMD and run another command called run another command called ch change user slash execute this is manually the second way of doing the same thing is control panel so first i'm going to do this way and then i'm going to do the second way so i'm going to publish this application it's not make sure it is not installed uh, before then up if it is installed before then up uninstall this application and then reinstall it so here let's go into command prompt and here all i need to do is i'm going to say change user install so it's saying user session is all is ready to install application and now you come here right click run as administrator install this application it is being installed Done. So once this installation is done, here it opens this application. You need to click OK, close it, go back to command prompt, <coughs> go back to this command prompt and just write the same command again, uh, change user execute. Once this is done, your application is ready to be published. So this so here, now we are going to publish it, publish the application. Here next, the name is File Villa. And next, <coughs> we'll leave it as is. Access from server means it's hosted. If you select this, this is called streaming, which will be in the next video. So for now, command line, always browse and find the right command line. I think it might be in this, yes in x86 if it is not here you can find it in the other one select the application make sure this is the application and it is selected once this is selected which servers should be available <coughs> so it sh you should select only that server where it is available so here i'm going to select both servers because i'm going to install this application on my other server as well so next here user Make sure you can go anonymous as well, but it's better to go with uh, authenticated user. And here we're going to go down user, show user, select administrator, done. Here you can say that which folder it should go to. So we're going to say it should go in Citrix, go in application. We need also a start menu. Uh, shortcut on desktop next next done this is one way of doing it let's quickly verify it so here this is available on both so i'm going to do the same thing here and because i need to bring the software here i can bring it here or i can access it from other server so on your second server go to start go here and uh, and all you need to do is you can go connect to canvas ctx1 slash dollar sign this is how you access c drive enter from here you go to software now here i'm going to do the second way here you can also open command prompt so so let's do the same way so here let's say change user install ready and we're gonna run it here next it's all done it opens it closes and right here once it is installed all you need to do is change user execute once it is done <coughs> You don't need to publish it again because we published it once in the other server. The one thing only we need to check that it exists on the same path. So here, not here, actually it's installed in the other path. So that's a problem. 
it should be in the same app, should have been in the same app. So now in this case, I'm going to uninstall it. So, because if it is in another path, um, Citrix won't be able to recognize it where, from where to open the application. So I uninstalled it. Again, put it in the install mode. And we're going to go back to the setup. Right click, run as administrator. And here, now here, I'm going to choose that other part. So sometimes we cannot, we won't give this folder name. So let me take the folder name. Now why I'm choosing this? Because in this other server, it is sitting in that path. So let's see, in this other server, it is in here. So they both should be in the same path installed. So that's another lesson learned. Here, I'm going to create another folder right under this. So all you need to do is type this path. Or you can browse, you can go in C, you can go here. If the folder is not there, just make sure you create a folder. Done. And press this. Next, next, next. It's all created. And again, remember to put it back in execute mode. Once it is in execute mode and the file is sitting in the same path, it's excellent. So now here, application. Now let's check it from the client side. All you need to do, go to Citrix Receiver and online plugin, refresh application. So now I can see FileZilla, let's test it. Evaluation and here network application was interrupted. Try application later. So it's saying application. Now sometimes we get these error messages. Let me try it from the server itself. So let me go down to here. And actually these are previous, I think these are previous files. Let me delete them. And I'll just go here and go to preferences. Trying to open preferences. Okay, and here refresh. So now I see FileZilla. So sometime when it doesn't work from the client, we should try it from the server itself. Here, yeah, this is just a message. So from server, it's working from client. It means if it is working from the server. It means that it is perfectly published. It is installed. Now there must be some issue with the with the client side. It could be just we need to restart the client. So we'll just restart the client. While this restarts, let me let me install the second application. Now we do have second application here in software that is known as Seven Up. So one way was to go through command prompt and do this. Uh, second way is you can go to control start control panel and within this there is one this option install application on remote desktop you go here next it asks for which application do you want to install we're going to go to C drive software and here just go to all files and run the second program so you select now the thing here is what it does that it will automatically put the server in install mode and once it is done it will put it in it will put it in execute mode so that's the second way and after that <coughs> all you need to do so on the second server I'm going to do the same thing on second server let me go back to that uh, folder that we were connected to or we can again connect to Citrix 1 so let's go to Citrix 1 C drive and software. I need to do this. And in the meantime, I'll copy this because I'm going to need it for control panel. So I'm going to install it. So first of all, go to here, next, and in this browse. Here, if you, you can connect through network or you can just connect 
to the server to UNC. So this is CTX one slash C dollar sign. C dollar sign is a hidden share. So this you connect it to this server C drive. Go to software. Here again, it's not showing that other application. Show that application. Run install. It is installing it done and finished. So on both servers, it is installed. It is ready to be published. So we need to go here. Just go to application, publish, and here we're going to name it 7-zip. Next, it will be hosted application. Next, command prompt, and in this you can go to uh, you can go to this. Look, it's asking for the source, so it's right here. And in this case, we need to open one of these. How do we know? So I'll try before I select, I'll just open it for this one. So we'll just select this one. So it is selected. Make sure this is the same path on both servers or all your Xenab server, wherever it is posted. Here I'm going to select both servers. Then next, which users? So this one again goes to administrator. users OU, so I'm just going to users OU, show users, administrator, next, here, where do you want to keep it? I want to keep it in the Citrix application, put a desk shortcut on desktop, done. Application is done, it's right here. Let's first make sure on the server. application it can show you seven days open it so it opens so it opens from the server this is hosted application and hosted application we must know the sources for all these application are used from the server side let's check our client side let's check our client side logging in <coughs> And let's check our this other client, this other server. And let's try to refresh application. I can see both. Open access from here. <coughs> it's opening it. Okay. What about this one? Network connection does not exist. Why? Hmm. I think it has the same issue as the client. So the client is opening now. And in the meantime, let me restart this machine. About here. Also, at the same time, let me open web web console. So the web console web interface HTTP connect to then at Citrix. It is trying to open. The server is restarting. Applications are published. Applications are here. Um, so guys, at this time, this is how we publish application. Later on, I'm going to create a video for complete troubleshooting. This machine is starting up. This machine is logging in. Uh, so I'm going to stop this video here. And uh, I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching this one.